Let's take a couple minutes and learn how to share a song we build in GarageBand to Bulb. After creating your song, the first step is to save your project as a song file. When you open up GarageBand, you'll notice that there are two types of files in your GarageBand. The first is the project file. My Song 6 is a project file. A project file is kind of like the editing version of your file. It's where you can make changes. When I tap on a project file, I get a lot of options. I'm gonna tap share. Now I'm gonna transition this project to a song. And then I'm gonna tap share again. What this does is allow me to select where I wanna save it. I'm gonna save to files and it will export my song into a song file. That's the type of file that I wanna to share to my bowl. In files, I can decide where to save my GarageBand file. I'm choosing to save it on my iPad in the GarageBand folder. But you could also choose to save it to iCloud Drive. When you've selected the place that you're remembering to save it, then you tap Add. If you have one that's named the same thing, it might ask you to replace it or to keep both. But most likely, if it's your first time saving, you'll be able to save it as a song file. Now it's time to add to Bulb. In Bulb, find the collection where you'd like to add this particular project. Then tap Create Page. Once on your page, you'll give your title, uh, you'll give your page a title. Tap to add your media. This way, we're going to tap and add file. And we're gonna select upload and then browse for the file that we just saved. Once we're in files, we'll have to go navigate to the place where we saved our file. My song six was in my GarageBand folder. This attachment of this song would allow anyone who visits my bold page to download a copy of my song. Don't forget to write your reflection that goes along with your learning process. Another way to add our song would be to add using the audio option. I can still upload and browse for my file. This way, I can still look for the file that I saved, my song six. Adding an audio file instead of a regular file embeds my audio so that a user would not have to leave Bolt in order to listen to it. The audio is converted and added directly to the page so the user doesn't have to leave in order to listen to it. It's up to you which way you think is best, adding file or audio. Don't forget to publish it.